Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Ibo. Um, I'm going to present uh, my uh, accepted paper named Urban Clip Learning Text Enhanced Urban Region Profiling with Contrastive Language Image Pre-Training from the Web. Um, this work is done uh, jointly with the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Beijing Jiao Kong University, uh, 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 Northwestern Poly University, Alibaba Damo Academy, and National University of Singapore. Thank you. So uh, I will start by uh, my motivation. So um, as we know, uh, we're in the area of urbanization. So in some way, we may uh, need to know some social economy indicators, such as uh, population, educational background, household income, etc. So um, uh, all of these indicators can be categorized roughly into uh, like something like on the right hand side. So. Uh, uh, we can define such task as a uh, urban region profiling. So uh, let's back to the definition. So uh, we can define urban region as special units consisting of building environments and social economic activities. So uh, you may wonder like why we should provide an urban region. So the simple answer would be that uh, we need to learn a unified representation that can uh, adopt it in diverse downstream tasks. And uh, how to do so? So uh, the uh, trivial way is to embed urban regions into a latent vector space while preserving the heterogeneous information. Okay. And we compare some uh, previous uh, paradigms. So roughly speaking, we, uh, we can categorize them into uh, two key uh, paradigms. So the first one is task-specific supervised learning. Uh, as you can see in the figure A, so uh, you have uh, task-specific data sources and you feed them uh, into specific model respectively. But the drawback of such paradigm would be uh, uh, you need uh, pretty much label data and um, probably you, it may harm the model generalizability. And the another paradigm would be uh, sub supervised learning with special modality only. So uh, uh, if you are uh, using uh, special modality only without some textual uh, uh, modality, you may lack sufficient explainability. Okay. So uh, to uh, handle or we say solve the aforementioned challenges, we propose uh, a book uh, which is the first large language model enhanced framework that can integrate some uh, textual knowledge into urban image profiling. So as you can see in the figure D here, so uh, we can uh, basically define our uh, 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 model design or our training design as uh, into uh, two phases. So the first, first phase uh, is simple, uh, which is the pre-training. So basically we need to generate and refine some text and then we learn some single modality and multi-modality uh, representation uh, respectively. And the next phase would be the urban indicator prediction. So uh, more details, I will, uh, I will share more details later. And as you can see the problem statement, we define the uh, problem setting as a large language model enhanced urban region profile. And yep, so let's uh, dive into some details. So as you can see from the uh, architecture design illustration, so uh, basically we need to firstly generate some detailed location description through some open source multimodal foundation model. So at that time we use, uh, actually we expected, uh, experimented on pretty many open source models at that time. And we finally used the Llama adapter V2. So uh, we generate some location description for the satellite image, uh, which we crawl from some uh, a map platform. Yep. And then uh, finally, we can have some a set of high quality image text pairs and, uh, and such pairs, and then and, uh, subsequently is fed into two unimodal encoder uh, separately. And at last, um, we can in decide a multimodal interaction module. So basically, uh, the objective of such module would be uh, uh, to align the representation of the two modalities into a latent space. And in terms of the loss design, we have some 
uh, contrastive loss and language modeling loss, which is the autoregressive uh, loss. Okay, and the next phase would be the downstream indicator prediction. So uh, in this phase, uh, which is also pretty uh, simple, we utilize the frozen unimodal uh, image encoder for uh, diverse downstream tasks. Uh, in our paper, it could be some uh, carbon or population or GDP prediction. So uh, what we need to do is simply fine tuning the outermost multi-layer perceptron with a few trainable parameters. And of course, we offer uh, two more option choices for uh, future works, which are uh, uh, the first option is that uh, you can include some uh, other modalities, uh, probably a trajectory on road network structure, etc. Um, the another uh, option you can uh, we can try in the near future is the prompt guided uh, urban indicator prediction. Okay. Okay. We have done the downstream indicator prediction phase. And um uh some reviewer may wonder like uh, how we think, uh, how we uh, conduct the text generation and refinement, and uh, the pipeline is pretty simple. So uh, basically, based on the open source multimodal foundation model, uh, uh, we fit some uh, visual instruction, which is the uh, satellite image itself, as well as some language instruction. So uh, basically, we need to try on uh, pretty many uh, uh, prompts, and then we have some generated text, but um, the test quality can be somehow uh, 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 not that good, so uh, it may be uh, unfactual and it could be some uh, a weak expression. So uh, somehow we need to uh, hire some people, some uh, uh, domain experts to filter out some, uh, or we rewrite some sentences to ensure the location summary must be uh, high quality. So back to the experiment. Um, uh, basically, we uh, uh, designed this section uh, as four research questions. So the first research question uh, could be, uh, 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 can our model outperform the previous uh, methods, and uh, whether it can be, uh, whether it can uh, generalize uh, generalize well to diverse uh, downstream task. And the next research question would be the ablation study. And the third question is the uh, transferability. The last question is how we can apply our model into the practical application, or we say uh, deployment. Yeah. Let's look at them one by one. So uh, based on this table, um, uh, the our performance on the carbon prediction, population prediction, and GDP prediction can outperform compared to the Best baseline, uh, of course, in twenty twenty three, right? So, um, and the next research question, uh, we uh, conducted some ablation study to prove the effectiveness of textual modality, uh, refined text, and knowledge infusion and loss design to ensure our model design is uh, convincing. Right? And um, uh, next question is about the transferability, uh, which is pretty, sim uh, pretty uh, uh, significant. Uh, so uh, compared to the best baseline, our model can uh, perform pretty uh, well on four Chinese cities uh, in terms of three uh, uh, urban indicators. Yeah, you can get this insight from the heat map. And in this sec uh, section, we have a, another subsection, which is on the similarity analysis across diverse cities. So, uh, the, uh, 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 so uh, basically, you have some uh, image from any others, any cities as query, and then you calculate the uh, similarity, and then you pick up the, uh, uh, the, uh, the image from any other three cities, 
uh, with the highest uh, uh, image similarity. So as you can see, if uh, we uh, conduct this similarity analysis and, and we look at the text description, so the, the uh, simil uh, high similarity can prove the high, uh, 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 or we can see this the text also simil similar. So the, the region is similar as well. And at last, uh, uh, we are not just finishing some paper writing, so we also uh, apply our model into a, uh, a system called Urban Insight. So basically, the user can click on any uh, region, so uh, it can uh, provide you some uh, uh, indicator prediction, and probably and can, it can describe the uh, region as well. So uh, this uh, system will be uh, uh, open source later. So uh, welcome any suggestion. So uh, I will wrap it up. So the uh, conclusion is that uh, powered by the large language model, our model uh, first generates some high quality text description for any urban image. Uh, subsequently, we can feed such pairs into our model that can uh, unify the uh, natural language supervision for urban vision representation learning. And we conducted a pretty much experiment to demonstrate the effectiveness of our model. And we also list down uh, some future research points, uh, including the product enhanced learning. Uh, and the second one is that uh, you can design your own generation and refinement uh, pipeline, which can be more automatic. And also, uh, the last uh, would be uh, you can apply such, or we can say paradigm into uh, diverse downstream tasks. Yeah, that's uh, the end of my presentation. Uh, 